Juicy Secrets from the Sashika Twins, How to Have the Perfect Glass of Wine, and more from Entertainment Tonight host Nancy O'Dell. All this up next on Olive Coco TV. We're gonna start with some dessert wines. Now, we already had a little white Zinfandel. Okay. And white Zin Zinfandel technically is dessert wine because it's so sweet. Now, women tend to love dessert wines, especially the Moscatos. Why is that so popular with primarily women? Well, there's kind of a, I don't know, I call it hormonal. Hormonal? Hormonal? Yes. <laughs> Champagne was discovered, what, 300 years ago? They couldn't figure out why the wine was making bubbles and the corks were popping out. They called it the mad wine. Well, after they've discovered that there's a secondary fermentation going on, they figured out how to cork it and make it better. Well, in the 1700s, when the, uh, the royalty, the men started dying off, the women would take the money and invest it into champagne. <laughs> Typical woman, huh? So the French <laughs> word for champagne is veuve. So veuve clicot, pensardin, is uh, the widow Clicot Pansardin. Okay. What you need for dessert sweet is either Prosecco, a little bit sweet, or Moscato. Now these come from Italy. The Italians want something a little sweeter for after dinner. The times of drinking wine all day long, you don't follow it with beer, right? Right. If you drink beer day all, all day long like the Germans, you don't follow that with a, a dry wine. You follow it sweet. For instance, Riesling comes in different grades of sweetness. You have Auslese, Spätlese in um, a Cabinet. You have Bieren Auslese, Trocken Bieren Auslese in Eiswein. Eiswein is a late, late, late harvest vine. Now, late harvest means that the grapes have been sitting on the vine all the way through the harvest and they're shriveling now. Now, when you press them, there's a lot of sugar in them, less water. So Ice those vine. those little itty bitty grapes you see on the vine where you're like, you no. want <laughs> Basically, but they have to set the vineyard aside and let it do that. So okay. it's very expensive when you get these little bottles of dessert wines. But the Germans will wait until the grapes have frozen on the vine, which is really risky. But when you do, all you get is syrups. You get ice vine. So very, very sweet, perfect for a dessert. And you think about it, if you have a big meal, you've already had a whole lot of wine for your meal and you're pretty much stuffed, a little drop of dessert wine goes a long way. In other words, everyone has women to thank for champagne. <laughs> More, yes, <And> definitely, <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> Billy Modine here, your wine expert for Olive Coco TV. Nothing goes better with a great glass of wine than a great career. Here's another clip from our exclusive interview with Entertainment Tonight host Nancy O'Dell as she tells you how to make it in Hollywood. My most memorable moment um, hosting the first day that I came on the Entertainment Tonight set because it was sitting next to Mary and Mary was kind of you know, making the announcement that I would be taking over for her. And, you know, Entertainment Tonight is like such a, like I said, an institution. It's a, a historical show as far as shows out there because it's the first entertainment show of its kind. So that was such a huge day in my career for me because of what I do, being entertainment news and Entertainment Tonight being the creme de la creme. It was like finally getting that grand prize, you know, after doing it for, I've been doing it for 20 years now. So um, journalism, I've been doing it. I started out in hard news but then went into entertainment news. That was a big one for me. What kind of advice can you give to women in general who want to be in the position that you're in today? I would tell people that want a career in whatever they want a career in, just don't let anybody tell you no. I remember um, when um, I was thinking about going into journalism that I had somebody say, oh, you don't want to do that. It's, you know, it's too hard. It's too crazy. It's too tough to break out in the business. And I remember thinking, you know, well, gosh, that gives me more determination to actually do it. If it's that difficult, okay, it's a challenge. It's a competition. And that you kind of have to make things happen yourself. It's like if you have a dream of doing something, then don't wait for, you know, the doors to open up. Actually go and open the doors. That's what I always say. Hi, everybody. This is Nancy O'Dell from Entertainment Tonight, and you are watching Olive Coco TV. 
And speaking of entertainment and red carpets, fashion is a girl's best friend, second to diamonds. <laughs> I sat down with celebrity designer Sasha the Twins and they talked about their fashions, how they really got started in the industry, and for the fellas, if they're single or not. Sachika was designed for the modern woman. Like she's fierce, she's independent, she knows exactly what she wants. And um, you know, we really encourage all modern women to go out there to accomplish their dreams, to work hard because you can really do anything. Anything is possible if you really want to. And you know, fashion is, is another way of expressing for her. She loves to be feminine. She's sexy. She's powerful. This jacket here is actually one of my absolute favorite pieces of the whole Stashka brand. It's actually a jacket that we made for the fall 2011, which is current collection. And it's made, it's made of um, wool and cashmere, mainly cashmere. It's very soft and dewy and, it's so and warm. And warm and it's, you know, it's a and I love the cut because the collar is wider, so it made kind of like a statement. We didn't have a publicist. We didn't have no ways of reaching out to celebrities um, directly. But I think, you know, we're very persistent in, in our plan and, you know, we're very, um, I guess, not afraid I mean, of trying I mean, to make it a long things. story short, we had a friend who was doing photography for a red carpet. And he says, Jill Zan ha is having a book signing. Why don't you guys come along? You, who knows who you can meet? And we're like, sure, sure. we're going. Yeah, you know? we're like, we're going. <laughs> so she's there posing on the red carpet and all of a sudden he goes, Just step inside the red carpet and I was like, you sure? Yeah, okay. So we go on the red carpet next door and she was like, oh, twins? And we're like, yes, we're also fashion designers. And we were like, listen. Well, we actually, designed. before she said, you girls look so cute. I yeah. love what you're wearing. We're like, yes. Well, we actually designed it ourselves. We are fashion designers. And we, we were like, we came up with this thing. We like, we designed something already just for you. We'd love to just get it to you. How can we get it to you? <laughs> Mind you, we had never designed anything yet for her, but we just said it, you know. So she was like, so touched about it. She was like, oh, I'll give you my number, my stylist number. And, and she gave us her email and, you know, we exchanged numbers and, you know, we made her the first piece she loved it and the rest was just history. It's all referral, you know, you get one person that loves it, she tells her friends, you know, and her friends tell her friends and then I guess it just happened like that. <laughs> the one that Coco wore and they cut out, you all cut out the, yes, the back Yes, yes. That was, that was, so I this is the famous um, Coco dress. Yeah. It was originally called the Bella, but then we named it Coco after she wore it, obviously. She made a splash wearing it and it made the knees everywhere. But you know, it it's has a combo mesh dress. So originally it was just like this in the back, they didn't have that cut out. But of course, with Coco, we have to remove some fabric, right? Somewhere. Because <laughs> she has an amazing, you know, derriere. We have to show it. Yeah. So, yes, this is what happened afterwards. <laughs> yes, I'm single. <laughs> and um, I think, Are you, you know. Sure? I'm, I'm just sure? kidding. Why? <laughs> did, did somebody just come to my door this morning that I didn't know there was magic? Uh, it was I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's talking about herself. No, I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if something, if someone amazing comes, of course I'm gonna embrace it because I love, you know, the beauty of life and how you know you can always have amazing surprises, and I would embrace it. But I think that I'm very focused on Sashka. Sashka is my baby and she needs all my attention. But you know, you never know what happens. I mean, we're real Sashka women and have, we're very ambitious and we have high standards for everything. Mm -hmm. One is the Sissy dress from our Spring 2011 collection. Definitely one of our best sellers this year. Um, we had several people wearing it, um, notably. Um, a lot of people saw that photo with Nicki Minaj wearing this dress in white, which we offer in off-white and black. And, you know, it's a very simple dress, but it's also your, you know, little black dress. And you have lace at strategic places, so uh, it's very sexy, but at the same time, it's sophisticated. Long yeah, and I could see someone wearing this at the office with mm -hmm. a jacket on or something. Yeah. Or not even, it's not even with a jacket, you could wear it just like that because basically it's long sleeve and it's all covered. But it's, you know, the you V is there, little, but just with the little lace, kind of so, subtle, sexy. Yeah. For us, I think it's so amazing to see our vision coming to life because this is what we always envision. When we started something, you know, it was a seed and we planted and we always knew, you know, where we would go and how far it could go. And it's just amazing to see the progress and to live and to go through every single step. So it's really rewarding because we work really hard 
and you know we we'll feel very blessed to be able to live um, our passion and our dream every day and see it coming to life. We always have so many visions and you know we're big dreamers but we're also big doers and like every time we accomplish something it's like there's always it's another like, step to yeah, it. Yeah, on to the but next. There's always something. We're just so happy to kind of be living the life that we want to be living our passion. I think that's priceless. You know, at the end of the day we're happy to wake up every day and to be able to do what we love which yeah. is amazing. And the sky is the limit. I mean you know, this is just for us the beginning. <laughs> hey guys, this is Tota. And this is Tonya. And we are the Sad Kids Friends. And you guys are watching Olive Coco, Coco TV. TV. And as always, to conclude Olive Coco TV, we have our OC Hot Picks of the Week. Our first picture goes to singer Jennifer Hudson, who is looking slimmer than ever, in a leopard print Michael Kors gown at Tokyo's Fashions Night Out. Our next picture goes to rapper Nicki Minaj, who's posing here with designer Donatella Versace at Versace and H&M's fashion show launch. Our last picture goes to actress Jessica Alba, who is rocking her post big body pretty well in a sparkly mini dress at Glamour Magazine's Women of the Year Awards. You can find these pictures and more on alcococomag.com. And for late breaking news and more culture style intelligence, follow us on Twitter at alcococomag.